My name is Alexei, okay. I'm with Pure Storage, and uh, I will be talking about Swiss tables, uh, multiple of them, not a single, uh, and how they help to improve uh, mob performance in Go. Well, some, sometimes they degrade it, we'll see. Uh, now, what are maps? Maps is just a key value data structure, and uh, we have a set of expectations uh, for maps. We expect that access to uh, keys and inserts will be one. We expect that maps support a set of operations on them, like creating, accessing the uh, value by key, uh, inserting value, deleting those, uh, having the uh, iteration over the map, obviously figuring out what map size is and uh, clearing them. I think clear one of the latest uh, additions to go uh, on the maps. Previously, before Go 124, maps uh, were just uh, an array of buckets. Uh, simple data structure. Header is just eight fields. First of them is count, which is a length of map. That's what compiler expects. And uh, two fields, buckets and all buckets. Uh, buckets is a pointer to an array of uh, power of two size. Uh, this is an optimization, so we can easily take the uh, modular over them. Otherwise, modular is expensive operation, and power of two helps it uh, uh, helps to speed up it significantly. It's very frequent. Uh, each bucket contains eight entries. And uh, this is an array of keys and array of values. They are separate. It does not help with cache locality, but it is what it is. Uh, Go uses the uh, accompanying uh, array with hashes. Uh, this is a top eight bits of a hash uh, of a key. And Go uses them to quickly uh, iterate over them to quickly check if the key is potential match or not. Uh, previously, Go went over hashes one by one until they find a match and uh, compare the key to check if this is a match. Uh, once the bucket is full, what happens? Go creates an overflow bucket and they link this bucket, uh, link a new bucket. Uh, to an old one. Uh, once table capacity comes to some limit, I won't go into the detail what limit is, but after that, Go creates a new list of buckets and starts copying uh, data there. It, it is not uh, instantaneous. For some time, buckets uh, live in two places. That's why frequently when maps grow, they use twice as much memory as previously. Now, that's, I think, uh, all important thing about previous iteration of maps. Now, what Go 124 brings? Go brings, uh, this version brings the uh, Swiss tables support. It's a new implementation of maps. But uh, before getting to how maps look, let's, la let's look at a single Swiss table. Uh, it could be a complete map. Go needs better, and we'll get to that in a moment. Swiss table is a simple data structure, just six fields. And uh, it contains the count of entries. It's called used. And uh, pointer to an array. Array is split into groups of eight, but uh, is just logical division. 
Uh, each group contains eight slots. Uh, and there are power of two groups in each table, in, in the table, up to 1,024 slots there. Uh, now, this value is arbitrary. It was chosen just because uh, pretty round number. Uh, in this, in, in the new Go implementation, keys and values are to uh, go together. There is no separate array of keys. There, there, are, there is no separate array for values. Both of them go into a single slot, and the, there is an array of slots. Uh, each group has the control word which is used for lookups the same way as uh, top hash was used previously with some optimizations. Uh, now, this data structure can be used as a, a map if we remove the limitation of uh, 1024. Why it's not? Because uh, this implementation has to grow all at once. And imagine a map of, uh, I don't know, uh, <clears throat> gigabyte in size. We have to create a new two gigabyte uh, array and put uh, and copy all data there. And that's only to insert a single entry. It's a uh, huge tail latency and Go is very sensitive to that. That's why Go decided to go with Swiss map, it adds additional layer of indirection called directory. And the directory is essentially as an array of tables, array of pointers to tables. Uh, this directory is used to uh, <clears throat> make sure that Swiss map grows uh, continuously but and one table at a time. Uh, as you can see here, some tables are absent, and that is because uh, the slot points to the previous table. Uh, Swiss map is pretty simple as well, and let's look at how. Key lookup works there. Yeah. So key gets hashed and split into two parts, uh, which is control word is lowest seven bits and uh, top 57 bits used to figure out the sequence of uh, probes. But also, we have a directory here, right? How do we uh, know which table to look for a key? Uh, Go uses directory index. For that, it's uh, the top n number of bits, and that is variable uh, number. Uh, the approach is called uh, extensible hashing. Uh, depending on the number of uh, tables, uh, depends, depending on the size of directory, uh, Go can use uh, zero bits or more. Uh, when there is just a single table, it's zero, we'll go straight there. Uh, when we need uh, to grow, we start using more bits uh, for our directory lookup. In this case, in this example, we have three bits uh, in the hash, we look at those, it's zero, one, zero, and we go to this index in the directory. It, comes a, it contains a pointer to a table, and we use the H1, which is top 57 bits of the key, uh, to find out the initial uh, starting point, initial group where we will, will be looking for this key. If this key is not found in this group, 
we uh, new implementation of maps uses quadratic pro probing. Uh, that's essentially tri triangular numbers, and it starts looking at the uh, index specified by hash modular table size, uh, modular number of groups in table, and then goes to uh, index plus one, then goes to index plus two, and so on. Uh, in each group, we start looking for a key by looking at the control word. To do so, here is the example with three uh, slots taken in this group. Uh, 128, which is uh, 0x80, is a special kind of uh, value for it for a control word, which means that this uh, slot is empty. We don't care about this. Uh, go, uh, go checks for all of the uh, values in the group simultaneously. It does that by replicating the test. Here, for example, our hash is 89. Uh, go replicates that eight times and then compares them to the control word. Uh, it finds it in the slot number two, and that is uh, our hint to compare key with the stored one. How this happens? Uh, this is an excerpt from the Go implementation. Uh, it's some bit magic. You can look at the uh, source for for this uh, and the link provided. It essentially uh, checks, like source, the uh, control word with uh, our test one, and then checks if there is zero in there. This can be done on uh, modern architectures just in uh, two, I think, uh, instructions of the CPU. Uh, SIMD helps this with this tremendously. Uh, Go uses eight, word, uh, eight, eight slots per group. Um, the original implementation had 16 of those. Uh, this was a uh, decision by Go implementers to limit this to eight. Uh, additionally, this optimization currently exists only for AMD64. There is no support for ARM at the moment. They use this bit magic. Uh, still, it's just, what, uh, five operations? Six. Not that uh, much. And we'll see uh, why it's... Uh, probably not that important to optimize it here. Still, some gains can be expected in the future. Some stats. I've run benchmark to see uh, if we have uh, mm -hmm. any gains or losses of uh, doing some simple tasks. There are micro benchmarks, which are, well, they don't show a picture. But sometimes you need to do uh, some work that might be heavy users of maps. In this case, uh, there are two tests, uh, calculating word frequency and uh, counting unique words in the sum or all of the Shakespeare's works. As you can see, we have some significant gains here. Uh, Swiss maps give us uh, 23, up to a 23% speed up. Uh, but some of those are red, you see. Uh, can somebody guess why those are degradations and not uh, improvement? Is it because the recalculation went the uh, number of the base for the non-parted, but the hash tables grows? Uh, no. 
it's uh, simpler than that. <laughs> uh, word count uses map string struct. And that's something that uh, is a trade off currently. There is heads up. Map in T64 struct requires 16 bytes per slot. <clears throat> and this uh, degradation because previous map implementation had optimization for this specific use case. Uh, if you remember, values were stored as a separate array and struct is zero widths. So sometimes you can see that there were some degradation. Pretty significant in case of uh, memory pressure, but still allocations are down tremendously. And that is because during growth, uh, all of the tests start with uh, zero side map. You just make map stream int and that's it, or struct. We start with an empty one and then grow them. Uh, in case of King Clear, I think it's around 7,000 uh, keys. And in the old Shakespeare's works, it's 70,000. So we have pretty significant uh, savings here with both memory, but also allocations. Well, less allocations huh. mean less garbage collection pressure, means uh, better results overall. Uh, I won't show you anything that uh, is real life, unfortunately, because uh, benefits will be insignificant. However, Google uh, did profiling and they see improvement around uh, two or three percent CPU usage over the previous Go version. The work just started. 124 is the first version that uh, has Swiss tables implementation, and there are some open problems with that. There are some degradation. There is no CMD support uh, for non-AMD64, but uh, work is being done. And uh, that means that we will see more improvements in the future. And I think that's it. Questions?